Hello and welcome to the Mobile Meals Delivery App training video. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Meal Delivery App, Meal Delivery Instructions, and Undeliverable Meal Instructions. At Meals on Wheels, Collin County, volunteers utilize the Mobile Meals app to deliver meals to seniors. This app will direct you to each stop on your route and provide delivery instructions for each client on your route. You will need to download this app and enable GPS permissions while this app is in use in order to navigate to each client's home. You can find it in your app store by searching for Serve Tracker Mobile Meals or scanning the QR code. On the day of your scheduled route, you will arrive to the designated drop site to locate the meal bags that contain all of the meals you will deliver on your route. You will find a tag attached to each bag with the route name on it. Most routes contain one bag for warm items and one bag for cold or side items. Be sure to grab both bags. A standard meal delivery contains one meal tray plus one side item. Side items can include fruit, crackers, yogurt, and other various items. Be sure to provide both items to each client unless otherwise noted in the delivery instructions. Check the top of the bag for envelopes or client paperwork. You will need to deliver these to the client with their meal. If the client provides you with paperwork or envelopes to be returned, you will place them back into the plastic sleeve on the top of the bag. The login information for the Mobile Meals app will be located on a sheet of paper on top of the meal bags. Input this information into the Mobile Meal app fields to sign into your route. These fields are case sensitive. Before leaving, Take a quick look at your route list to verify your meal bags contain the correct number of meals to complete the route. Double checking always prevents backtracking. Notice that some clients may reside at the same address and their meals will be delivered together. When you're ready to begin your route, select the first client on your route list. Let's take a look at the route information and get familiar with this screen. You can always go back to the route list by selecting route list at the top of the screen. You'll find the client's name and address. It is imperative that you call the main office if you cannot find the client's home. Here is where you will mark each client's meal as delivered or not delivered. It's imperative that you only mark a client's meal as delivered if it was actually delivered. You can open your preferred GPS app to navigate to the client's home or call the client from this screen. Some deliveries will require special instruction. These instructions are not optional. Some clients require that you call when you arrive or to place meals in a cooler outside of their door. You'll also find gate codes and parking instructions when applicable. It is imperative to read all special instructions for every client each time you deliver a route as instructions may have been updated. If the client is receiving additional food items, these will also be listed in the instructions. Additional food items could include weekend meals, milk, or breakfast meals. These will be placed in one bag per client. If the client gets five breakfast meals, they will receive one bag containing all five meals. Utilize the driver comments section to notate important information. We will cover this later in the video. You can contact Critical Time by selecting Call Office. Now you can begin delivering meals by selecting Get Directions. This will navigate you to each client's home to make the meal delivery. Let's go over do's and don'ts while delivering to meals to seniors. Do follow special instructions for each delivery. Utilize the app to deliver meals and mark them as delivered or undelivered at each stop. Do announce yourself and that you're with Meals on Wheels. Do allow ample time for the client to come to the door as they may be hard of hearing or have mobility difficulties. Do contact the office if you are unable to deliver a meal for any reason. Do greet the client with a warm smile and a friendly hello. Remember, you may be the only face they see all day. Here's what not to do. Don't wait until the end of your route to mark all meals as delivered at one time. The app records the time of delivery, and this is important for reporting purposes. Don't deliver routes by memory, always utilize the app. Clients may have been added or removed from your route and or delivery instructions might have changed. Don't leave meals at the door unless instructed to. Don't leave meals in coolers if the cooler does not contain ice or an ice pack. This meal is undeliverable. Remember, read special instructions for each client. Following the directions in the app will eliminate confusion and ensure efficient delivery. You will only select extra meal when you provide a client with an additional meal due to having undeliverable meals. 
When you have delivered a meal to the client, select Delivered and your next client will appear on the screen. You will repeat this process until you have delivered all the meals on your route. What happens if a client does not answer the door to receive their meal? It is possible that the client may have forgotten to notify our office of a cancellation due to an appointment, etc. However, a big component of our meal delivery program is the client safety check. It is imperative to attempt to contact the client by phone and notify our office if the client does not answer. Start by verifying you followed all special instructions for delivery. Then try calling the client. If the client does not answer, note that the meal was not delivered as well as your attempts to contact the client in the driver comments section. You will then need to contact Meals on Wheels by selecting Call Office at the bottom of the screen. This will route to our critical timeline and not our main office. Leave a detailed voicemail with your contact information, route name, and the name of the client. Our social workers will follow up and determine if emergency responders should be contacted to perform a wellness visit. Select the red Not Delivered button at the top. A drop-down menu will appear. Select the appropriate reason and then select Submit. You can place this meal back into the meal delivery bag and give it to the last client on your route. It's important to wait until the last stop in case a client makes contact to report they are home and able to receive their meal. You can go back to deliver the meal. If the last client receives an extra meal, be sure to select Extra Meal Delivered under these special instructions. Once you have completed the route, you will be prompted to sign out after your last stop. Use your finger to sign your name and select both boxes. Select Done and you are all finished with your route. You can then return the meal bag back to the designated drop site where you originally picked it up. Thank you for viewing our Mobile Meals Delivery App Training video. Together, we can combat hunger and isolation in the Collin County Senior Community. Our seniors look forward to seeing your smiling face very soon.